Emotional distress can cause people to lose control. Some states give special dispensation to defendants who commit criminal acts in the throes of extreme emotional distress. In Hawaii, extreme emotional distress can sometimes reduce murder to manslaughter. In State v. Dumlau, a jealous defendant lived his life at the breaking point. Vidado B. Dumlau was accused of first-degree murder for killing his mother-in-law, Pasita M. Reyes. At trial, an expert testified that Dumlau was diagnosed with paranoid personality disorder, which is characterized by unjustified suspiciousness and hypersensitivity. When Dumlau's wife interacted with other men, including her own brothers, Dumlau would get jealous and lash out. During a family gathering, Dumlau became suspicious that his wife was having sex with one of her brothers. Dumlau questioned his wife in the bedroom, physically abused her, and retrieved a gun. Convinced that the family was talking about him in the other room, Dumlau exited the bedroom with the gun. One of his wife's brothers walked toward Dumlau with a knife while saying, quote, You're going to pay. Unquote. According to Dumlau's testimony, Dumlau wielded the gun in an attempt to scare the family and accidentally shot Reyes in the scuffle. The judge instructed jurors about Hawaii's first-degree murder statute, but failed to instruct them on Hawaii's manslaughter statute. The manslaughter statute contained a mitigating defense, allowing a reduction of first-degree murder to manslaughter, if the defendant was, quote, under the influence of an extreme mental or emotional disturbance, for which there is a reasonable explanation, unquote. According to the manslaughter statute, reasonableness needed to be viewed from the perspective of someone in the defendant's position, regardless of whether that perspective was incorrect. Dumla was convicted of first-degree murder and appealed to the Hawaii Intermediate Court of Appeals.